Good day, everybody. This is Kevin Hogan. I'm the author of Invisible Influence, Covert Persuasion, and 22 other books that have been translated into 43 languages all around this planet. Um, changing their choices, changing their decisions. Sometimes people make really bad choices and bad decisions. They do something really stupid, okay? So they they buy that house for some insane reason, which they never would have done on any other day because it's a bad choice. Or they bought that car even though they can't afford it. Or they, they ate all of those calories when they know that they can't do that, okay? So you are seated here with a situation which is, you wanna know, this is one of those, what were you thinking? Which is why, why did you do that? But you can't ask that, right? You know that, right? You cannot ask why. Because people don't know why. There was no logic to it. You walked into the store, you saw the pair of shoes on the uh, floor. The pair of red shoes were there. It was in Italy. And I had no idea how much shoes cost in Italy. And we were walking in and we go in and there's the shoes over there. And she puts them on and they actually fit. This is a shame. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. So we put them on and the guy says, would you like a VAT voucher, sir? <laughs> that means 22% is actually going to make a difference. And I said, yeah, absolutely. I know I'm never gonna get my VAT back from, from Europe anyway. But so, and I say, how much would that be? 375 pounds. Really, seriously, for a pair of shoes? Okay, cool. I'm from Minnesota. We know I don't, okay, whatever. So that's fine. So the red shoes are there and they were purchased, right? So I'm not going to ask why. Okay, because that would be stupid. I'm not going to say what were you thinking because that would be stupid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a future. Okay, I'm going to say something and I didn't do this, but now that I think about it, was there anything in favor of the blue shoes that were right next to it? Now, I happen to know perhaps that they were 100 pounds, okay, or 100 euros, okay, instead of 375. And maybe she'll say something like, well, red goes with all of those dresses that I have in there, and that really looks nice, and it matches everything, really, blah, 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 whatever the reasoning is. See, I didn't ask that, did I? I said, was there anything in favor of the other choice? I don't want to know why, because if I ask why, it will simply embed this as a great way of thinking into the future, right? So if you want people to make different choices, you want them to think about what could have given them information to make a different selection. It's not that it's a disaster. It's not a disaster that somebody spends 375 euros on a pair of shoes. I really don't care. But it was fascinating, the experience though, because there was no question about pricing or anything. It was just, I'll take these. And I thought, hmm, we looked at 10 pair of shoes and we took that pair. There was no price on any of them. I, they could have all been more expensive for all I know. But for me, it's just interesting. You want to say, was there, any, was there anything in favor of any of the other choices? Was there anything in favor of buying one of the other houses? Was there anything in favor of living in one of the other towns? Was there anything advantageous about renting that car instead of that car? This is when you don't know what's happening and you don't understand. And maybe you need to see a change made, okay? Maybe you need to see a change made. All right, sometimes you do have to have the change made, sometimes you don't, but you're just curious as to what um, the person saw in something else that caused them to 86 it when you thought maybe that would be a really cool choice, all right? So the question is, was there anything in favor of picking that house, going to that movie? Was there anything in favor of going to that restaurant? Was there anything in favor of this? Because you want to know this kind of information without asking why, which digs people deeper into their own choice that they just made. If you say, was there anything in favor of X over here? We don't touch this one. We don't force any defense of this idea, concept, ideology, thing, okay? Instead, we ask about something over here. Was there anything in favor of it? critical. This is one of the coolest pieces of influence you'll be able to use into the future. You'll be able to save your kids, your people that you love and care about a lot of problems. When you say, was there anything in favor of going to see Harry Potter instead of It's a Wonderful Life? I'm just curious. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you here next time.